depending on where you fall in the spectrum. Dak Prescott got fucking paid. Fucking with two fucking with two G's. He got fucking paid. He got <laughs> paid. I said he was worth that on a previous you podcast. Did. You did say I that. I even said that number and you guys made fun of me. Then with yes, absolutely. I think I, I said still don't 40. think he's worth that. I'm, I don't know if I said the exact 40, but I said around there. You did. And I still don't think he's worth that. But well, you okay, fine. You could have that opinion, but he got that. So he like did that get creates that. the inherent value to the public that he is worth that. You may, you can disagree with what they paid, but he is at that value. Correct. He's not the second best quarterback in the league. I'm sorry. He's not. That is true. It's not even close. I, I agree with you. He you is he admit, is in he's admit in the, the five to eight range, and that's he's not even in the top five, probably. Well, Neither one of us put him in our top five quarterbacks. So you're, you're not wrong. I, I don't think I did, but I, I think there is a new value set for the position. That's all. Craig, was it a good business decision to lock in Dak Prescott at this dollar amount for this period of time? I do believe it was. I actually do. Cause if, if he's coming back healthy, uh, he's a, he's a game changer. He's a game changer. I uh, agree with the assessment. He's not top five, uh, but he can be right. Let's talk about ceilings and floors, right? His ceiling's pretty fucking high. What he showed in the first uh, four and a half, five games, uh, pretty promising for that. He still got what it takes on his side. Was he surrounded with the team uh, to do so? I think they allowed 1 million points in those games. Like he we kept having to throw because they were behind so much. I'm just saying that he, he has more weapons, right? He's got CD lamb coming into himself. And I, while I'm not high on Zeke, he's not nothing. He's just not a top three for Mari me. Mari Cooper is still there. Right. They have stuff going on. I think Dak is a pro- going to go end up being looked at as appropriately compensated, not over or under, but like appropriate for what's coming with this, with this rip of the four-year deals, right? With this 44s, the 160 deals, that's a Watson deal, that's a Dak deal, right? We're going to see a few more like that. I think we're going to look back and be like, that was a good business decision because it was appropriate for the market and what we're going to get in terms of wins, right? Uh, Do they win a title in the next four years? They have a lot of problems on the other side of the ball. So I'm not saying Dak's winning them a title by himself. No way. But Pat Mahomes can't win by himself either. People got to catch the fucking ball, right? People got to put the hands around it. So I I just think we're going to look at Dak and be like, wow, we were low on a dude that has like, if, if healthy, he's got the stuff. He can get it done. He's, he doesn't have a D, and not all his O is always as good as everyone thinks, but I think he's got it. Mike, having Dak in division is signing Dak Prescott to this deal for this period of time, for this amount of money, a good business decision. As a Giants fan, yeah. Um, you know, that's because of the fact that I, I, I think Dak has his flaws, um, and I think that if the Giants play good defense, that's something that can be exploited. But with that being said, if I try and look at it, not as a Giants fan and look at it as objectively, I think it actually, I was the kind of person that was not a fan of the deal originally because I was like, that's a lot of fucking money. Um, it is a lot of money. That's also a lot of fucking money when now you're starting to lose offensive linemen because you can't pay them. And that's the offensive lineman that made him look good in those early years. So that's one of the things that I was not sure about. However, yes, this year is going to be a down cap year, but next year, Next year is when ESPN starts kicking $2.6 billion to the NFL per year just to have Monday night fucking football and then have two Super Bowls over the course of seven years. $2.6 billion per year. Get that the money. cap is going up exponentially. To 250. I was going to say, I'm right now, the cap is down to 182. If it goes up $70 million next year because of the amount of rise that we're going to see in funds that are becoming That's why you're the NFL. Avoidable shit. Nobody hey, wants. That's true. Paying a quarterback forty million dollars is going to be nothing. That's why so, I think I think you're dead right, man. You, you know, I didn't like it, right. but the way things are changing, it makes a lot of sense. The Cowboys are going to be locking in that quarterback for nothing, and the next time that a quarterback needs a new deal, they're going to be looking at a fifty-five, sixty million dollar a year contract because of the way that the cap's going to be going. The, up. And if the cap does what the cap has been doing, we are going to see the first hundred million dollar a year player in the NFL in the next 10 years. Which is absurd. Because of what Messi got, because of what some of these Formula One guys have gotten over the years. <laughs> uh, and that put the club into debt. 
I, right. Play. I don't know why they did it, but yeah, it was a bad you idea. Think, you don't think guys noticed that? You don't oh, think yeah. guys hear about Felix Hamilton, not Lewis Hamilton, who makes yeah. so much money? Michael Schumacher made eighty million back in the day. It didn't get around well enough, and now they're going to be like, "Wait a minute, the NFL makes more than you do. Why are they getting that and I didn't?" Uh, European soccer, by the way, has always made a lot of money, so yes. that's part of the problem. They've made yes and no. What's that? Yes and no. I, the I big can, I'll, I'll the talk biggies. to you about that on the side. I'll talk oh, to you about word. that on the side. I, I thought can, the I have... biggies always brought in big money. Not necessarily. Uh, we'll get believe, to that. Then I believe you. So anyway, the money of the NFL is going up so much that he's dead right. Well, it's not. Well, it's, it sucks to think forty mil is like nothing because to to regular folks that would be gross. life changing. <laughs> just immediately we can split that life, between the three of us and just be the happiest individual. It's generational wealth if you invest it. Correct. It generational wealth. So these guys are going to become, you know, what they've already become over the last 20 years, the elite business folks, because they have so much money to fuck with, right? They're all becoming brands. Look at what Dwayne Wade's doing. Look at Juju's early, and he might be smart because of that, because him getting built up on Twitter and TikTok and stuff means he's going to get more Oreo money because he did the Oreo dunk thing. and got You know, like he's going to do really fucking well for himself. Tyler Lockett getting 70 million fucking dollars, right? Crazy. If Tyler Lockett's smart, he might already have a brand. It's not that but if, good. It, well, weird. you know, you know, we could definitely talk about that. Uh, that's <laughs> offensive. It's very offensive what, what you just said about him. Is he better or worse than Brandon Cooks? I couldn't tell you one way or another, but they're basically the same fucking guy. Nobody Brandon can Cooks that. is a Nobody can pretty that. good slot guy. I don't think Brandon and Cooks gets paid that much. He doesn't, but that's what I'm saying. I know that's what you're saying. I'm agreeing with you. 100% <laughs> agreeing with you because it's shocking, but we are going to have to get okay with seeing numbers that hurt our brains and hearts because we do not play a professional sport. That's what's so crazy about these deals. Where do the Dallas Cowboys finish in the division this season? Mike explain. I'm going to start with you. I got to go say third. I want you to say third so bad. I can't. I'm going to say second with a healthy deck. Craig Brooks. In the division. In the division. You're hopeful. I am and hopeful. I'm, that, is, that is 100% But I'm going to support you. you, and you know it pains me to do so. I don't you're doing this like more for it. your dad than you're doing it for me. I know that. You know what? I appreciate that. That was a, very, that was a friend moment. Because I yeah. could still hate on you, but do it for my father. Yeah. Do it for dad. <laughs> I do think they'll come in second. For I say seven, eight wins because they showed that Dak can do stats that are video game level and lose. So I don't care about the fact that if they don't fix that other side of the ball, no winnies are going to happen. And he's just going to stat up. So I'll still draft him. I'm still going to go after him in fantasy. Yeah, because I believe yeah, the, the win doesn't matter to you. The no. stats do. Statties. Give me them numbers, dog.